My name is Al Walker and I was responsible for overseeing the development of the Midas Pro motor fader. So why did we create our own motor fader? We were simply not happy with the existing faders on the market and we thought we could do better. We could leverage the large scale R&D and manufacturing resources that the user group offers. We wanted to bring production in house so that we could control quality. We wanted to offer our customers value for money by passing on our cost savings. We wanted a fader with a minus name on it that our customers could trust. As we are a digital console manufacturer, we have a perspective on the actual application of motor faders that a component manufacturer would just not have. The mechanical designers worked closely with the electronic hardware and software engineers to develop the best fader we could, and then get the optimum performance in close and actual operation in the Midas consoles. It was this close cooperation that gave us a unique advantage in developing the Midas Pro motor fader. We got deeply into materials science, employing semi-precious metals for the wiper fingers that offered the hardware and properties that we desired. We spent a great deal of time working with our PCB vendors to get the precision resistive tracks that offered the high linearity we needed, coupled with the durability we wanted and the smooth feel we wanted in operation. None of this was easy and we spent many long hours working on this project, but we feel the results speak for themselves. The lifecycle tests use the Pro Series software to fire events which drive the fader from minimum to 0 dB, then 0 dB to 10 dB, and finally a full travel from maximum to minimum. This takes 3 seconds to complete the cycle, meaning we can do 20 per minute or 1200 cycles per hour. Using the first 22 fader positions on a Pro 6 enables us to compare the fader's performance with that of our competitors and ensure that the faders travel smoothly and park at their destinations accurately. Motorized faders are thoroughly tested as a component for performance and positional accuracy before the mechanical sound and feel are again checked. Completed products are made available to our production lines where they are assembled into various consoles and subjected to further demanding tests and performance checks. We were not going to put our names to these faders unless we had total confidence in their performance. We now have a motor fader that lasts up to 1 million cycles and outlasts the competition by up to three times. It feels pretty nice too. During the final test of the console surfaces, the faders are again tested using the console software to drive each fader and again check the conductivity now that the fader has a conductive knob fitted. I think that everyone that has worked on this project can be proud of what they have achieved. A motor fader is functionally essential to the operation of a digital console and must also feel smooth and to create a highly reliable, long-life fader with such even and consistent operation is a tribute to the whole team.